Hey guys, uh, welcome to Brooks's Backyard. As you would have seen at the start of the video, I've just picked up a 1998 Honda Prelude. Now, for any of you Honda people out there, this is a BB6, uh, sorry, a BB5 chassis which has got an automatic and a non VTEC motor. So, kind of the slowest and the worst combination you can buy in a Prelude. For those of you that don't know your Preludes, the automatics were absolutely atrocious and they just kept blowing up or they start slipping and then you have to spend lots of money to rebuild it and usually they just go again pretty quickly. So this one here, the automatic does still run and drive but it started to slip and the uh, motor has got, was it 300,000 Ks on it I think, or getting up there so it's had a hard long life. Uh, I bought a VTEC motor, a H22Z1 for it and a manual gearbox so that should be a good little project to slap that in. Once that's all done and the car's on the road, long term goals are to lower it and put the OEM lift kit on it and probably repaint it but uh, for now we just want to get it looking as good as we can and running with a VTEC and manual gearbox. So. Yeah, if you guys are keen for that, stay tuned because there will be quite a few videos on this car. But yeah. Alright, this is the H22 Z1 motor that I picked up. So for you Honda people out there, you'd know the Z1 is the higher performance motor that has 210 horsepower to the crank. So that's a decent amount for a tiny car. Um, it's also got adjustable ga cam gears on it, skunk cam gears and uh, skunk intake manifold. So I'm not sure of the history of this motor. I bought it um, being told that it was a runner. So hopefully that's true. If not, we'll rebuild it and overcome that. But yeah, I don't know what gearbox is attached to it. It's a manual, but the little indicator thing on which model it is, is gone. But sadly, it's not the LSD model, but that's okay. And uh, for anyone who was watching my motorbike restoration, I took it out for a ride the other day, and it went pretty good and didn't blow up. So for me, that's a pretty good win. This is what the non-VTEC engine bay looks like. Um, it's basically the same as if the VTEC motor was there, except There'd be a VTEC solenoid hanging off there and uh, the valve cover would look a bit different. But yeah.
Well, as you can see, it cleaned up pretty nicely, but there's uh, bits and pieces here and there that need touch up, like a bit of plastic there has come off and exposed that metal. And the paint on the bonnet, I don't know how well it shows up on the camera, but imperfections there and all over the bonnet really, it's pretty scra scratched up. Same with the roof. Um, I'm pretty sure it must have had a respray at one point because you can sort of see around this fuel cap here. I don't know if it shows up on camera, but there's a bit of flaky paint. And um, around here on the bumper, it's sort of cracking up and lifting off. But I mean, all in all, for a good little project, this is uh, well priced and should be pretty awesome to build with you guys. When I uh, bought my motor I got a basically a boot full of parts for this thing so got a cold air intake that hopefully will fit. Um, I've got two wiring harnesses that are both sort of a little bit chopped into but they're not too bad. I'm pretty sure one is just for an OBD1 ECU one's for an OBD2 ECU. Um, on this we're going to convert it over to OBD1 just because it's easier because that's for well, that's the uh, ECU that we've got. We've got a VTEC OBD1 ECU. Um, I've actually got two clutch pedals for this. I ordered one from Germany originally, and then one popped up in Australia, so I uh, ordered that, and they are fairly different, so that was good. Um, and I've got a standard VTEC intake manifold in that box back there because the one on the VTEC motor is cracked. Uh, but yeah, we've almost got all the parts we need to make this all work. I'll just give you guys a sneak peek of the shifter that I'm putting in my prelude. Um, now this is just a RSX style shifter, so that's what you'd use in um, like your K-Swap Civics and whatever else. Um, but yeah, anyway, so this shifter here apparently it should go into the prelude and fit without having to trim the interior up and that's a H-series transmission um, adapter plate for RSX style cables so it's supposed to increase the shift feel and make it a bit nicer well guys that's all for today's video um, just introducing you to the new project for the channel um, but yeah, thank you for watching and make sure you stay tuned because there's plenty of good things going to happen on this. Um, hopefully when I'm doing the manual and VTEC swap it can sort of be followed along for you guys if you're in the same situation I am. But uh, yeah, anyway, thanks for watching, stay tuned and don't forget to like and subscribe. Just like any P-plater with a Honda, I've taken the muffler off. <laughs>